space shuttle than many other vehicles of its time. Now SpaceX's spacecraft is ready to take that potential to the next level. So what makes the space shuttle's heat shield better than the space shuttle's? We explore in today's In Our Studio episode. After completing its mission, the spacecraft re-enters Earth's atmosphere, protected by a complex heat shield system, before gliding to its landing pad. The heat shield system consists of more than 24,000 plates designed for specific areas of the ship, including black plates on the other side that carry away most of the re-entry heat. These plates are manufactured in materials such as reinforced carbon, or RCC, for the nose and wing edges, as well as other insulation materials such as high temperature reusable surface insulation, or HRSI, reusable surface insulation, or FRSI, and low temperature surface insulation, or LRSI, to protect the ship from the extreme temperatures of re-entry. While the Space Shuttle's heat shield was a marvel in its day, the SpaceX spacecraft represents a significant step forward in heat shield technology in spacecraft design. Like the shuttle, Starship relies on a heat shield for re-entry, but its approach is simpler and more effective. The Starship's rocket-like design features heat shielding plates covering more than half its surface, including the hull and hatches. Unlike the shuttle, which required a complex array of plates for its aircraft-like structure, Starship's more uniform design allows for a simplified heat shield system. Each Starship is equipped with about 18,000 tiles, 6,000 fewer than the ship. Starship's reduced number of tiles makes installation, renovation, and replacement faster and more efficient. While the space shuttle required thousands of people and months of post-flight maintenance, Starship's simpler design allows for quicker, less labor-intensive maintenance. Plus, with fewer tiles, Starship reduces the overall risk of damage during re-entry. The smooth cylindrical shape of the Starship also offers significant advantages over the complicated body design of the space shuttle. The unique shape of the ship requires custom heat shield plates to fit each section. If damaged, replacing these tiles is time consuming since each tile is custom made for its specific location. In contrast, Starship's uniform shape allows for mass production of its hexagonal plates, making replacement faster and more efficient. If the heat shield were damaged in this location, it would be difficult to replace. But Starship's uniformity makes it easy to replace the tiles, avoiding the long delays for custom pieces. This not only improves operational efficiency, but also safety, allowing for quick and easy repairs. In addition to the advantages of its plate system, Starship's open cylindrical design improves heat dissipation during re-entry. Unlike the shuttle, which relied on the precise placement of special fins, Starship's shape helps improve aerodynamic efficiency and distributes heat more evenly throughout the vehicle. This even heat distribution reduces the risk of localized hotspot damage during re-entry. Additionally, the spacecraft's larger surface area relative to its volume increases its drag coefficient, helping to slow the vehicle more efficiently and further protect it during re-entry. Another major innovation in Starship's heat shield system is its plate shape. The hexagonal design offers several advantages over the square tiles used on the space shuttle. As Elon Musk explains, the hexagonal shape ensures that there are no lost paths for hot gas to accelerate through space, a common problem with rectangular spacecraft. This design improvement reduces the risk of hot gas penetrating the heat shield, providing superior protection during re-entry. Starship also benefits from advances in the materials used in its construction. The spacecraft is made of an aluminum alloy that, while lightweight, has a relatively low melting point of around 660 degrees Celsius. Long before this point, aluminum begins to lose its strength, weakening at just over 250 degrees Celsius, making it unsuitable for the extreme temperatures of re-entry, which can exceed 1,500 degrees Celsius. To compensate, NASA relies on a complex system of plates and insulation to protect the aluminum structure. SpaceX, by contrast, has chosen stainless steel for Starship, a material that can withstand much higher temperatures, up to 870 degrees Celsius. This makes Starship more resilient during re-entry and allows for a lighter, less complex heat shield. Stainless steel is also cheaper than aluminum, making Starship both affordable and durable. If you think the spaceship heat shield is better than the space shuttle, give it a try in the comments. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to follow SpaceX's progress. Although SpaceX's spacecraft heat shield has many benefits, the company is not slowing down in its efforts to improve the system. Even after four flights, there are still some problems, such as falling plates, and during the fourth flight, a heat shield failure that caused all four shuttles to burn up on re-entry. These problems indicate that the heat shield still needs significant refinement, but SpaceX has consistently made upgrades after each setback, pushing Starship's development forward with every flight. It's likely only a matter of time before SpaceX fully optimizes its heat shield system. In preparation for the next flight, SpaceX is already working on improvements, starting with the S-30 prototype for Flight 5. While these specifics of the upgraded heat shield have not been fully revealed, Elon Musk has shared some key details. The new tiles are expected to be twice as strong as the previous version, although this likely doesn't relate to their thickness. Instead, SpaceX has probably altered the composition of the tiles to increase their durability. Additionally, an ablade of layer will be added beneath the tiles, providing secondary protection in case any tiles fall off during flight. While these upgrades sound promising, the true capabilities of the new heat shield will only become clear during Flight 5. Scheduled for November, this flight will aim to land Starship in the ocean. The real challenge will come in later flights when Starship is expected to return to Starbase and land on the Mechazilla arm. These tests will provide a clearer picture of how effective the upgraded heat shield is under more demanding conditions. Starting beyond Flight 5, SpaceX plans to continue refining Starship's heat shield system in future versions of the vehicle, such as V2 and V3. Version 2 of Starship is expected to be only slightly larger, so the number of tiles might not increase significantly. However, by version 3, when the height of the ship reaches nearly 70 meters, the number of tiles will likely rise substantially. Given the simplicity and uniformity of the tiles, SpaceX should have no trouble scaling up production. Starship will need more attention to improving the stability of the plates, especially since Starship will not only fly in low Earth orbit like V1 or visit the International Space Station like the Space Shuttle. Starship is intended for longer, more difficult journeys, including missions to Mars and beyond. Improving the durability of the heat shield is critical not only for individual missions, but also for achieving SpaceX's long-term goal of making Starship fully reusable. As Musk has emphasized, the heat shield will need to be reused multiple times, not just for a few flights like current spacecraft. Musk has set ambitious goals for Starship, including the possibility of daily flights. While it is possible to replace the plates after each flight, if the plates suffer serious damage, SpaceX aims to minimize plate replacements to speed up the turnaround time. Rapid reuse of the heat shield will be critical for SpaceX's broader missions especially as the company prepares for more frequent and complex flights. All of these improvements are part of SpaceX's larger Mars strategy. Musk has set several ambitious goals, including landing the first spacecraft on Mars within the next two years, sending humans to the Martian surface within four years, and creating a city on Mars within 20 years of the first crewed mission. To achieve these goals, SpaceX will need to transport about 1 million tons of cargo to Mars. In each of these plans, Musk emphasizes the importance of increasing the steel rate. Regular and reliable flights are essential to stable operations, especially since Mars launches only occur every two years. This requires a ship that can be reused many times, reinforcing the need to further improve the heat shield. In conclusion, while SpaceX's Starship heat shield has made significant progress, continued development is critical to the company's broader goals of rapid reusability and in interplanetary travel. With continued improvements, SpaceX is positioning itself to meet the challenges of exploring Mars and beyond. The need for Starship's heat shield to outperform previous systems, like the Space Shuttle, is critical to enhancing reusability. Starship already has major design advantages, but these will be tested on the more challenging missions it plans to undertake, particularly a trip to Mars. The heat shield will play a critical role in protecting the spacecraft from the extreme conditions of space and reentry. As SpaceX refines this system, these improvements will be critical to making Starship fully reusable, essential for long-term goals like interplanetary travel. Future developments in Starship's heat shield will be critical to meeting the enormous challenges that lie ahead. Let's see how it goes. 
For now, that's it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode.